In this video I'm going to show you how to move off properly using an electronic handbrake in a car because a lot of the more modern cars these days have electronic handbrakes that disengage automatically. So in this car it's an automatic car um, but it'll be very similar to moving off in a manual there's not a huge amount of difference apart from a little bit with the clutch. So I'll know that the um, handbrake is on and the car is secure by the red light on the dashboard and then once I move off you'll notice the red light will switch off itself. So in order to move off all I have to do is put it into the right gear D for automatic or 1 for first gear give it some juice and the car will automatically go itself. I don't actually have to press this down to release it which I notice a lot of learner drivers do. It's not necessary you're just creating a little extra work for yourself. The car will automatically disengage and go by itself whether it's a manual car or automatic. Okay, so let's have a, I'm going to talk you through it here now um, and I'll show you how I stop as well in a couple of minutes, okay? So in this car, um, it's automatic, so in order to uh, get the car starting, I just give it a little bit of juice, a bit of accelerator, and that just automatically starts the car, and that's in this particular model anyway. So I'm just going to put my foot on the, on the foot brake to help disengage the, the car and make it ready to move off. So what I do then is I'm checking my strands as I'm doing this. I go into drive, so from P over to D here, and all I have to do now is just simply give it a little bit of juice and the car will automatically move off. I don't have to physically let down this thing like I, like I said to you, okay? So I'll make sure we're all good there. Give it some juice then, and it goes itself. No need for me to physically touch the automatic electric handbrake there. So it's quite convenient, it's very useful. It makes life a lot easier for drivers moving off and it securely holds the car when it's on as well which is quite convenient if you're um, ever towing a trailer and you want that bit of extra security so I'm going to be stopping here now just a little bit further up and I'm going to show you how I use the handbrake to um, stop the car I have to stop at this stop sign first and then I'll stop a little bit further up so I'm coming to a nice gentle stop here then checking my mirrors as I do just braking nice and gentle so I pull up the handbrake here then you might hear a slight little noise the car holds a bit of juice then and off I go again. Sometimes you hear that kind of um, a noise, it's kind of a clunking noise that just says, that just reassures you that the handbrake is properly secure. Um, it's not that loud in this car actually, but it's louder on other cars. So I'm just gonna park on the left now and do one final stop. So I'll just pull in here. So I'm gonna bring it to a nice gentle stop. I'm gonna brake very, very gently. Now, so I pull up the handbrake here like this, then go into park and the car is nice and safely secured then. So once again, when you're moving off, all you have to do is put it into first gear or drive, give it some juice, and the car will go by itself. If it's a manual car, put it into first gear, give it a little bit of juice, and as you're giving it juice, bring up your clutch slowly, and the car will automatically move away. You do not have to physically touch the automatic electronic parking brake or handbrake, um, it does it itself, so it's quite convenient. Anyway, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section your experience of driving these type of cars. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.